many emails did you get today? My God is great, my God is good, he loves every man. The Mail Brothers imagine God's chocker inbox and his fraying temper on their new album, their 23rd. There's a line in it about if Arsenal wins, he really don't care. And we've actually had some some kind of blowback from that one I from Arsenal fans. But it was Are you only Arsenal fans, just well, to clear that up. <laughs> well, we, we can't show any prejudice towards any uh, football teams. But in any case, uh, the Supreme Being also is not supposed to uh, have, take sides in, in the Premier League. Sparks were a welcome, if sometimes unnerving, fixture of Top of the Pops in its pomp. The Mail Brothers' career took off here after a full start in the States. There was the novelty for us the first time around, like there is the first time around for any experience, but, but just just being on that show, you know, it was like it was like just a dream for us. We're really excited that the audience for Sparks now is a combination of both people that have been following the band since the since the seventies and then we've attracted a really new young audience as well. Your single references Titus Andronicus and a woman with an abacus. You mean that's not the usual pop fan? I don't know. I'm slightly out of touch. I don't know if Taylor Swift <laughs> yeah, name checks yeah. Titus Andronicus. Yeah, well, you, you, sh you should follow her more closely, I think. There is Titus Andronicus, Titus Andronicus, Titus Andronicus in my pool. There is Titus Andronicus, Titus Andronicus, wearing a snorkel in my pool. <laughs> People like Noel Coward and Cole Porter and Ira Gershwin were, they were people that were the words really, really mattered. You know, we look to those people as an inspiration just to really, really uh, focus on the lyrics. Some people will feel that you're kind of in character. We're just round the corner from Gilbert and George, who I'm sure you're familiar with. I mean, are you a bit like the Gilbert and George of pop? We like them, uh, we, we like their art a lot. And there's no separation between their, the perception of them uh, and also what they're doing. And I think in that sense, we, we're, we're similar. Brothers with a very singular view of the world, Russell and Ron have produced a long and inimitable discography. Just don't call them quirky. Well, I think the term quirky is really lazy to, to impose that term because it just sort of, uh, it, 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 it's just too easy to, to say that about, about someone, about Sparks. And, and so, you know, I think there are more nuances to what we do. Even at the very beginning, we were playing with bands in Los Angeles before we moved to Britain that were sincere in the wrong kind of way, we felt, and Ernest. very revelatory of their uh, personal ideas, you know, through the music. And we thought you can, you don't have to be that direct. And having it couched in humor sometimes, you're, you're running the risk of people thinking that you're a comedy band. But, you know, we always try to have a, another subtext to the to the lyrics rather than, where it isn't just funny but there's another level that it can be taken on. Be upset and 